videos that I have and maybe review them on the way. Alright. Number one is Scarface. The world is yours. This is an excellent game. It's about Tony Montana. Be the original. Be Tony Montana. This is a number one great game, I'd have to say. 10 out of 10. And the plot is this. Tony Montana loses everything and he tries to get it back. Basically it. And he tries to get turf. Try to get business. Tries to get people to work with them. I'm sorry I keep dropping stuff. I'm, I'm a retard. Uh, let's start over. Uh, the plot is this. They thought you were dead. But Tony Montana don't die so easy. Sosa took everything you had. Now you've got nothing. But that never stopped you before. You're back with the vengeance. Ready to reclaim your turf and rebuild your empire. So all you need is to get turf, empire, business, and henchmen, and exotics. All you got are your balls and your world. Live the torblent life of the informous and famous Cuban drug lord. You sell coke. That's all you sell. Just sell coke to other dealers or to people. Who identified the American dream in the original explosion script? I don't need to talk about that. Climb your way back to the top through savvy deals. The brutal and First you get the money, then you get the power, then you get vengeance. Rated M. Blood and gore, instant violence, sexual things, showing language, use of drugs. Now, to wrap this, that little thing up, it's a 10 out of 10. Like I said, reminds me of Grand Theft Auto. It reminds me of No More Heroes 2. Has the same gameplay as Grand Theft Auto. Mostly Grand Theft Auto. Now, how you play the game is too bad. Alright, I'll show you a little basic stuff that you do. Um, the minus button from right here, that lets you get into cars. Mm. This is your shoot button and your hit button. Like you basically just move up, just flick it up, flick it down, side. Doesn't really matter, I just I usually just do that. And um Z is to lock on to people. Um C is to shove people, like uh, just shove them out the way. Um your car, your acceleration is A. Um I is where you put music. Uh music um for your car or whatever. Change station, whatever. Um exotics. Empire. And you could like driver to get your car, tell your henchman to get your car. Two is just um, your load game, basically your profile, what you got, what you did. Um, uh, cheats, you type in cheats for it, and that's basically it. Number two, Manhunt. Now this game is a crazy hack and slash stealth game. This is a 10 out of 10. And so you're gonna grab the thought of when, when I said was talking about Scarface, Rockstar. Rockstar. Made Manhunt and Grand Theft Auto. So let me tell you a little bit about it then, shall we? Manhunt 2. An experiment at a secret research faculty has gone castrally wrong. Daniel Lamb and Leo Casper, which was in the first Manhunt, are the only surviving subjects. The Pikman project will stop at nothing to hurt them down, hunt them down, and stop the truth from getting out. The door to your cell is open. One chance, choice, one chance. The life, 
they took away time to get it back. You start at a um, asylum, a crazy asylum. You escape and you kill the people who put you in there. It's really long, really interesting. Great story. Rated M for Mature for blood and gore, instant violence, strong language, strong sexual content, use of drugs. Yes, you take heroin shots. Wow. Well, the controls to this game is normal. You use the joystick to um, walk around. Um, you hit people like um, normally. Uh, to kill people, you just you just have the regular colors: red, white, and orange. Red is for extreme kills. White for normal kills. Um, and orange is for medium kills. And you just randomly just press the buttons A, B, whatever it tells you to do. Switch them. Normally like that. Number three. Resident Evil. If you haven't known, if you haven't known, I am a big Resident Evil fan. I've been playing Resident Evil since I was five. Yes, folks. Five years old. It's very interesting. It's about Leon S. Kennedy, one of my favorite Resident Evil characters. Uh, Chris is one of my other favorite characters, but Leon S. Kennedy is the best. The plot is this. Leon S. Kennedy is now a U.S. agent with a top secret mission to rescue the president's daughter who has ki been kidnapped by a mysterious organization. As Leon encounters unimaginable horrors, he must find out who or what is behind the terror. Now, if you get, didn't know, this game has been on four ports, so it's been very popular. The first port started on the GameCube. Second port, uh, they wanted it on the PS2, so it went on the PS2. The third port was, um, PC. I have, I didn't find that out until I saw that stories. I thought it was only for, um, GameCube and PS2 and Wii. And the fourth port is, yes, the Wii edition. It's very interesting. The Nightmare is reborn. This is a 5 out of 10 game. Um, it's made by Capcom. Capcom and IG are one of my favorite horror companies. Rockstar is my favorite action, crime, gangster category. Next game coming up on my list is, well, people call it kind of a kiddie game, but it's really a fun game. It is Boom Block. Boom a block. Nothing really say, but this is basically all you really do. Throw, grab, and blast your way to victory. You just block, blow stuff up. This is really fun, and uh, Steven Spielberg made this, and this game is at least a 9 out of 10, it's a must own for your kids. Like I mentioned, Gremlins is another choice for a movie for it, but from Blocks. That was our number 4. The controls break split, basically, you get the remote, throw it, either shoot, not really moving around, just really throw it, pick it up, that's all the movement is, but it's fun, yeah. I can't really give it justice, but I really would like to.